Well, Ferb, I've adopted that name. And I'm an artist originally from Chicago, now in Dallas, Texas. I've been doing spoken word, theater, dancing since I was about six years old. I've always been drawn to creative energy, creative and positive people. And I do what I do because I love bringing people together. This is needed. This is needed, especially where I am right now. And, you know, if, if I'm not going to be an advocate to, to bring about change in the community in some form or fashion, then, you know, like, what's my purpose? I think that I realized that when I started performing, especially with my spoken word, there's a lot of power in words. And so for me, um, the greatest moment was someone coming up to me afterwards saying, hey, I needed to hear that. That was for me. And that's when I felt like this was my purpose. For this birth will change the seasons. And unbelievers will again start believing. And dreamers will again start achieving. Collaboration is very important um, to me. It's one of the reasons that I uh, started and founded uh, Verb Culture, because when I moved out to Dallas, I was trying to find out where I can go to actually be an artist and just do what I love to do. I'm also motivated by seeing other artists, artists that are doing what they want to do and doing what they love. There's no um, greater inspiration than to see someone that is actually doing what they love to do and making a difference because it makes waking up every day that much easier. I've learned that um, there can be moments that you may be getting ready to kind of give up on what it is you're doing and you can be in that same creative space with another artist and something about their performance or something about what they're doing that makes you want to keep doing what you're doing. Where it's like, okay, well, I'm not the only one going through this. I'm not the only one on this journey. The universe and the world around us is constantly changing, and if we're not changing with it, there's no way that we can evolve. You know, that's how you learn. You learn through experience, you learn through doing, and if you're not doing, then you're not, you know, you're not learning. So in order for us to be innovative, we have to constantly be doing something, you know. And if one thing doesn't work, then we, we try it again and make it better, and you learn. It's, it's a learning process. I plan to constantly keep growing keep growing with what we're doing, keep touching people and keep reaching people and keep making a difference. Because a lot of times um, people turn to the arts, whether they want to you know, admit it or not, they turn to it in some form or fashion to kind of get away from the everyday stress of life, whether it's turning on the radio to listen to some music, whether it's reading a book, you know, whether it's writing, whether it's dancing, you know, the arts are very important and that's just holding on to that creativity that we all have within. So.